Human beings are more curious than every other species on the planet. We create our own possibilities to destroy the entire planet and the human race. To be even creating things that do that, that's just plain dumb. Gain of money, more important than how our own future generations will live. We are not so intelligent. We are greedy. We manage as humanity to realize the total extinction of a lot of wildlife, even though those animals are important symbols to the very people who are killing them. Look to the bald eagle in America or the bear in California. They are clearly quite important, yet both are on the verge of extinction. A lot of people don't value what they don't pay for. Sometimes, though, those things are more valuable than anything you can ever pay for. Humans eventually will be extinct, but the world will not be over. It all depends on what happens and how we drive ourselves off the cliff. But in fact, you actually see that with a lot of species in nature. There are animals that create their own mass extinctions, so maybe subconsciously, that is what we are doing at this point. The country where I go or the place I am at, I try to know what species are relevant or are symbols of the culture. I will only paint native species in a country unless it were relevant to the location, like an abandoned zoo or something. I mostly don't decide what I'm going to paint until I get there. I look to a lot of details in general, finding stuff in between all the other stuff. If you focus on certain things, your mind will open up to impulses that will see them better when you encounter them. In a way, I am a very day-to-day -day person. I never considered this as a possibility to happen in my life. I don't really consider this working, even if I'm working a lot. I enjoy what I do, and I know the levels I want to reach. Bigger, better, more specialized, less commercial, more art, whatever. I let myself be inspired by the impulses of the moment and trust that I will find the right animal for the location. I love traveling and meeting different people, different cultures, meeting different animals. I try to make stuff that inspires me to make it and try not to repeat myself. The form of the wall, the neighborhood it is in, also materials that are available. All these play a big part. These situations inspire different results every time. The story tells itself to me too. I recently did this road trip through America. We went from the East Coast to the West Coast. I stopped and painted in Rochester, Chicago, the painted desert. I enjoy seeing the landscape changes of America and I try to use that experience as well as the stuff in my head in this show, Dominant Species. This is a guy who lives in this house and by walking in you have a part of his life and you walk in his head a little bit. In that way you are confronted by the nature of the beast. Humans.
gone you shall be, and gone life shall be, and gone death shall be, and gone all shall be, and gone all shall be.